Hi, this is Mary Beth Shaw from Stencil Girl Products. I am happy to welcome you to the Ampersand Blog Hop. I want to do something a little different today. Instead of doing a project, I want to tell you about Ampersand products and why I use them and show you examples of art where I have used Ampersand products and tell you which of their substrates I think are best for um, for which types of art, based on my experience. I've been using Ampersand products for, oh my gosh, at least 15 years. I like them very, very much. Um, my history as an artist regarding substrates started with paper. And I, I've always worked in acrylic for the most part. And I started out working on paper and on stretched canvas. And I did collage and painting. And I was very happy working on those substrates. But somewhere along the way, I just felt like, oh, I don't know, I wanted to work on a, a rigid, a rigid substrate, you know? Rigid, like, rigid. So I, um, I found out about Clayboard, and that was my first ampersand product, and I loved Clayboard. It was like a match made in heaven, because for me, the thing about Clayboard that's so cool is that it offers one more opportunity for layers than usual, and that's because you can carve into it. So I'll show you a piece this was a piece that was in my book, and this is on a clayboard panel, and this is on just a flat panel, and then I built a cradle to put on the back of it so that we could hang it, and I don't know if you can see these little bits right here, but that is a little, um, oh, what do you call those little Dremel tools, like carved into there. And so you can carve into clayboard, and you can do it with um, scratch board tools. You can do it with X-Acto knives, um, like I was using the Dremel. You can do it with a Dremel, all sorts of tools. I used to teach a lot of classes using clayboard as the substrate back in the day when I first started teaching, and just because I loved it so much. Because what I found was, it, it starts out as a really um, smooth white surface. Um, it's coated with this kaolin clay, and it's a very absorbent surface, so it's porous in nature. And um, so what you do, what I used to do anyway, is I'd carve into it, and then I would paint over with alcohol ink, and it would go down into the little carved areas, and then you could actually remove the alcohol ink off the top incredibly, and then you could proceed with making a painting so you could have this under layer before you even started the rest of your painting, and I just thought that was like the coolest thing ever. You could work on clayboard with pan pastel, with acrylics, with all kinds of things, and in fact, before ampersand came up with encaustic board, I used to use clayboard for my encaustic work too. But anyway, so I love clayboard. This is, um, they make it, like I said, this is a flat panel, and you can see the panel itself right here, and then I mounted it onto a, a cradle that I made. Well, I didn't make it, John made it, who's kidding you, right? Anyway, so, um, you can, if you use a flat panel to make your work, you could hang it in a floating frame or you could make a cradle for the back of it. I'm gonna show you some different other ways to make cradles too, but this is one of the deeply cradled clayboards that Ampersand sells like this. And this was from a series that I did a long time ago. And this is with a lot of alcohol ink and some um, collage on here and with some pastel and all sorts of things. So I love clayboard and I have a ton of it here in my studio. I just keep it on hand for all sorts of, um, of uses. I really like it. Um, when, you know what, here, 
Here is an encaustic that I did on clay board. So this was from before they invented encaustic board. And it stands up great. I, when I do my encaustic work, I use lots of layers. And this piece also involved some collage. And each layer was fused in between to you know, create a very, a very permanent type finish. Now, on this one, you'll see there's a little handmade thing on the back where we just took two little strips of wood and a wire, and then when you hang it on the wall, it just comes out from the wall a tiny little bit, and it looks really nice hanging on the wall like that. So that's one way to address a cradled work. Um, now here's an encaustic on encaustic board, and this one has been put inside a floating frame. Ampersand makes their own floating frames these days. Um, I don't believe this one was made by Ampersand, but this is definitely the encaustic board. And encaustic board is a wonderful, wonderful substrate for all your encaustic needs. It's so nice because it starts out white, so you don't have to worry about gesso or anything. It's the proper, it's already properly prepared to start an encaustic. And, um, I just love that. Here is another tiny little encaustic that I used a bunch of stencils on, and it's just on a little board. I think this one is an encaustic board. And again, I made that little cradle on the back so it can hang on the wall. Here's the thing. Ampersand products, and they aren't asking me to say this. I'm just offering this up. The products are such high quality and that's why I buy them. They are just great quality. It's a fantastic company. I have I visited them one time when I was in um, Texas and I like the people there. I like the way they work. They have dealt with me on custom making custom panels when I've had commission work and I was very happy to um, you know collaborate with them on, on that. I just think that the the quality of their product is just unsurpassed. I will always pick an ampersand panel panel over any other brand. I, I just really like I like the quality. That's all I can say about it. And the options. They make panels for almost every different thing. If you go to their website, they have a really nice website and you can look at all the different um, types of panels. These are the ones I use though. Clayboard, encaustic board. And then I use two types of their artist panels. And I want to show you those next. This one is, um, it's called The Artist Panel for Oil and Acrylics Smooth Finish. And it's a value series panel. I'm going to um, pop this open here. Love a smooth finish on a panel. And these are already gessoed, but it's not like their gesso board where their gesso board has kind of a um, little bit of a texture almost, almost like a, I would compare this, like their gesso board is almost like a cold press watercolor paper with a little bit of texture. And this is almost like a hot press, which I love. Super smooth. It's the Artist Value Panel. And these are a great value. They're very reasonable. So you can get started painting on rigid panels and not have to have a huge monetary investment. And these are already prepared with your white. They're primed with acrylic. So they're ready to go. I love that. Now the other one I like is the, um, the wood panel. And this is the unprimed. This is also part of the ampersand value series. But look at the quality of this. I mean, it is smooth and beautiful as can be. It is just ready to go. So if you were going to just paint right on this, you would need to gesso it first or collage or do some prep work, you know, to make sure it's ready to go. But I love this. It says, um, the better wood panel, sanded perfectly smooth, no seams or raised fibers, ultra stable, won't flex. And see, that's the thing. These are really nice quality. I, um, I don't know. I just, I love the, the products and I just wanted to share with you which products I use and why I use them. So I hope this has maybe, um, turned you on to some of Ampersand's products and, um, hopefully you'll give them a try. 
I, I think they're really superior. So thanks so much for watching today.